Hello, I'm uh, Colonel Brian Hunt. Um, currently, uh, I elected to put on uniform to do this segment. Uh, a lot of people don't know what this flag is. Um, certainly at the gun shows, it was a mighty great surprise when uh, we elected to display the flag. This is called the United States uh, Civil Flag of Peace. What that is, is a flag that was initially originated in 1791 by none other than President George Washington after, after he fought and won the American Revolution. Uh, they adopted a couple of different flags. This is one of the flags that was adopted that was called the Civil Flag. And what it was designed for was to fly over civilian buildings, and on revenue ships. In 1791, uh, revenue ships were created to enforce revenue from incoming imports. Today, they are called the, the United States Coast Guard. The U.S. Coast Guard, back in 1791, uh, were known as revenue, sh uh, revenue uh, was basically revenue fleet, and they would stop ships coming into port uh, and enforce the import tariffs. Today, the United States Coast Guard still flies this flag. The only difference between our flag and their flag is ours has stars on a white field. Theirs has a naval insignia on a white field. Same vertical lines. 13 stripes or 13 colonies or 13 states. And you might say, well, what does this mean? Well, in 1861, going back to the American Civil War, the federal government declared martial law. And actually martial law or martial rule was never repealed because Abraham Lincoln was assassinated. Uh, it goes back even further than that, according to some folks, but I choose to just deal with the American Civil War because it's 150 years ago. This flag has been in existence since 1791. It has been suspended twice. The first time in 1861, brought back in 1865, re-suspended by the 1941 War Powers Act when America went to war with Japan and with the Germans during World War II, the Admiralty Law, or Law of the Flag, was imposed by the 1941 War Powers Act. War Powers Act suspended the civil flag of peace. By federal law, by constitution, the law of the land, this flag is supposed to be flying over all state buildings, all federal buildings, courthouses, schools, any place where a flag needs to be displayed, this flag should be flung and not the flag that everybody and every one of us knows, which is the uh, red, white, and blue with a blue background, with white stars in the blue background, and or with or without the gold trim. Usually you go into a courtroom, you got the flag with the gold trim. Well, that's martial rule. There's a difference between martial law and martial rule. Martial rule is we are ruling you by martial law. We're just not putting the troops in the streets. We're ruling you by, uh, by military law or admiralty law, which is law of the seas. So that's where this flag comes from. Under Fourth Continental Congress, which is a civilian oversight group to the militia as across the United States, the militia of several states, they have adopted this flag, and uh, my my as state commander of militia forces in California, I've adopted this as our co colors, as the rightful colors of these United States. Um, if you notice my uniform. It's got a 
U.S. civil flag on it because while we are an arm of the military under the Title 10, Section 311, we are still a civilian agency. In other words, we are a military agency, but we are a civilian agency. We are a civilian agency able to uh, take up arms in the event of an emergency underneath the Second Amendment. So this is actually what the Constitution recognizes. Uh, and if you, well, it's interesting. I've got a couple of pamphlets here. Um, this is uh, a pamphlet that's put out by uh, a gentleman by the name of Kevin. In this pamphlet, it gives more history of our flag. It was an idea that was uh, put out by the Sons of Liberty long before it was adopted by George Washington in 1791. Sons of Liberty originally started flying this in, in this form. The original, the United States flag is actually connected to the East Indian Trading Company. And there's a whole lot of research that you can do on that. Folks, this is not about sovereign citizen. This is basically our rights under the Constitution we should not be a military dictatorship. Whether it's a benign martial rule or out-and-out martial law, this should not and cannot be possible in this country. And um, basically, uh, you, get, uh, you know, you can get a pamphlet from uh, uscivilflags.org. Uh, I implore that you... Go on the website, uscivilflags.org, talk to Kevin. Uh, Kevin's a great friend of mine. I've, uh, I've talked to him a number, of, a number of times. He has sent me information. We've displayed his information at, at our gun shows and so, and so forth and so forth. Um, basically, uh, the flag, uh, this flag was originally implemented January 2nd, 1791, by George Washington. Basically, there's no rhyme or reason why we should be flying a military flag in a courthouse unless, of course, those courthouses are under military rule. Um, that's basically what we have, what, what we've got, and this is why we are adopting this flag as not only our proper colors, uh, which in the field I normally blank this out, so, you know, a, uh, whether it be uh, a foreign enemy or a domestic enemy, uh, we would black this out so that, uh, you know, a sharpshooter could not uh, take me out. Or, uh, would, or take one of our soldiers out wearing one of these. Um, we would ha have it subdued just like the state patch. We have a state patch, and we have the national patch. Um, and uh, so, anyways, uh, that's basically what I have on the U.S. civil flag. Uh, I think it's a great flag. Um, I answer many, many questions about that flag when I display it at our uh, San Bernardino County gun show that will be coming up in February. Uh, anybody viewing this video, I would implore that you come out and talk to me uh, at the gun show, and uh, it would be a lot of fun. Uh, I don't do this for fun, but uh, we try to do things that when we meet the general public, and we try to make it fun uh, so that uh, we get more recruits and more people interested. Anyways, that's, uh, that's the end of this uh, presentation. Mm -hmm.